Welcome to JRW Tutorials. In this tutorial, we can see how to make a response redirection of web pages. So basically, in JRW, we have two methods to make the response redirection. So one is uh, by setting the header and uh, status of the response object, and uh, another one method is uh, response dot send redirect method. So here. Uh, we can see both options and both methods in this tutorial. So first of all, we can create a web application in this NetBeans IDE 7.1.1. So I can go for one new project. So it should be the Java web application and I can go for next. And the name of the project is supposed to be, I can go for demo project. So here, click on next. Enable context and dependency injection. And here click on finish. Alright, I got a web application uh, which was created here. But the name of the web application is our demo project. So this web application. Uh, is uh, presented with one JSP application uh, initially. So we can uh, see that uh, JSP page. So this is a JSP application. So run this application, we can uh, run this application first. Alright, I got the output of this web application. So this is supposed to be local host to colon 8084 demo project. So this uh, to this project, I can um, change some uh, code here. So in body tag, in, in index.jsp, in body tag, I can go for the form tag. Form action equals to my select I can take. And uh, then I can go for Close the form tag. So here in this one, I can go for input type equals to submit and value equals to redirect me. I can go for redirect me text. That's it. And before this statement, I can go for H4. Um, page redirection. Demo. Page redirection demo. And uh, save this application. And uh, here, this uh, index.jsp will be having one button that will be uh, having a redirect me text onto it and its action is supposed to be it was taking us to the my servlet and we can create that my servlet over here in your pages uh, right click on that page and go for a new and for servlet and here the servlet name should be my servlet we can go for next okay so add information to the deployment descriptor which is a web.xml uh, explained about this in the next previous tutorial so click on uh, finish so right now we got a uh, my servlet application uh, here i remove all unwanted uh, comments right now so these comments are not necessary i remove all of them So this uh, basically we know what actually the servlet is. A servlet is a server-side application. 
which is uh, extending the functionality of servlet by using the response and uh, request and response model so here i can go for exception So we discussed what actually servlet in the previous tutorial everything about in detail so in this tutorial uh, we got actually the servlet created by default we got do get do post method in turn do get do post method is adding a request to the process request so here in this one on uh, the process request and do get do post and get servlet information all methods are overrided automatically with the net pins for me here so it happens in net pins and uh, next thing we have to uh, redirect, redirect our web page uh, redirect the client to someone on uh, new web page so basically this can happen in uh, some cases where there is a uh, problem with the uh, load balance and uh, simple uh, randomization and uh, so we can uh, see here uh, what actually the problem what uh, how actually the page redirection will be done in a servlet so we can go for a response object here before going to the response object we can create a string variable string s equals to new string of form um, we have to go for a uh, website address here http colon two forward slash so i can go for www dot so we need to specify the protocol is well here http colon two forward slash www i will take this to my website itself for the ashatech.com so this is the string which is created right now so and uh, so we can go for um, response dot uh, um, set so response dot set in uh, i don't want to go for this uh, response dot set uh, status i'm gonna go for response dot set status that is a response dot uh, sc mode temporarily i'm gonna go for this one sc mode temporarily i'm gonna go for response dot uh, set header set status sorry I can go for set header that header is supposed to be we're gonna go to so location on the S okay so yes so it should be the location set header and yes should be the, the string object so that is uh, supposed to be the website address to which we are redirecting our client here so the client will be means uh, the requester so himself it is nothing but a client the client will be redirected to this uh, website in this case so here that will be a set status is supposed to be response dot sc mode temporarily and the header is supposed to be location comma yes he will be redirected to this website when whenever he requests to the my servlet so this uh, the idea behind this program is that uh, whenever the the client has made a request to my servlet he will be he will be redirected to this website so we can see how this will uh, execute uh, so save this application and uh, run it So here we got actually response direction demo so I can go to redirect me uh, yes I got successful result here so I got I have taken to the www.theashatech.com this is a website which is uh, we have created which, uh, to which we have redirecting our client but here internet is uh, not available in my computer right now so that's why no it's it was not noted it was not uh, loaded for you so this is uh, how the response redirection will be done but uh, so but we will be having one more method to redirect the response to the new website so that can be by that can be done by uh, send redirect method so we can see that method too so, so to work with that method delete the, these three 
statements not uh, these three statements are not, not necessary for that application so we can go for just response dot uh, send redirect that's it so this is very, very simple than that one so here you need to specify the protocol http colon to forward slash double 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 dot the asha dot com so save this and run this application so you will be redirected to that uh, web page automatically this is the uh, easiest method than uh, that previous application previous method so just click on this one so of course you are redirected to this website if the internet is available here then uh, my website will be open so right now i don't have internet connection uh, to my computer so it is not at all open so thanks for watching this tutorial in the next tutorial we can see more concepts and servlets.